Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Hope you had a great weekend, productive uh, family weekend, had some good fun activities. It's going to be a lot of money to be made in gold in the next few days. Uh, we're encouraging you to accumulate in your gold positions. We're holding at the 1680 some level, and that's a level we expect to increase. Um, household spending in the domestic in the United States is down, um, but it's, uh, excuse me, it was, is what I was going to say is it's down, but it's not out. Um, so uh, we expect to uh, see U.S. household spending continue roughly at the level that it's at, um, but we do not see, as in the past, the consumer pulling the U.S. out of uh, the current uh, economic situation. So this is an important factor to keep in mind. There may be some uh, increases here and there, but consumers are not going to lead this uh, um, uh, lead our way out of the recession. Ten-year treasuries are trading down around one and a half percent. We expect, as the European situation continues to deteriorate, that uh, that will those will trend down as low as one percent. As you know, fiscal and monetary policy are largely impotent at this point, and that's part of the reason why you see uh, uh, unenlightened politicians uh, trying to put trade tariffs on imports um, because uh, that is clearly a way to alter the job for situation as well as the cash outflow uh, to uh, nations that we have uh, sur export surpluses with. I was glad to see Bill Clinton quoted extensively in the Financial Times. Uh, he had a point which, uh, uh, frankly, I believe America is the best country in the whole world. He said that, you know, for 200 years, people have been betting against America. So we're in the middle of a hard spot, but our chances of getting out are wonderful uh, by relying on good old American spirit, as well as developing a new sense of cooperation. Um, the exposure to China now is the cause of anxiety. In other words, businesses that have done well historically, uh, that <laughs> businesses that have done well over the last three years by their exposure to China are now being punished for their exposure to China because of the difficulties in the Chinese economy, not just with inflation, but with the, you know, the fake, the ghost cities, the whole pattern of lending, uh, now the prevalence of uh, extortionate uh, loan sharking that we're learning about. Um, as well as the civil unrest, these all things, things, all these things mean that exposure to China, doing business in China, is now a cause of anxiety. So this is Arnie Waters. Uh, we've got a lot of ice flows to talk about today. Uh, this is a good trading day. Keep alert. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water, and keep swinging.